Hey, Lil Who. We're at the beach. And it's nice. So nice. Look at this. Say something, Lou. Uh, beach day. Good to clear the mind. Always. Look at that. Let's go, let's go for a dip. Yesterday, me and my brother went to the uh, to the beach, and we've been talking about what the next twelve week sprint looks like for our fitness journey. And I finally figured it out: fat loss while building strength. And now there is a difference between fat loss and weight loss because fat loss targets the fat. Weight loss can mean reducing muscle mass. Anyway, either way, I found this website where I got my last twelve week program from called muscleandstrength.com um and it's really cool it's a dope resource uh, all the workout programs are for free you can target it you can find um workouts based on what you want to target and how long you plan on working out there's six week programs eight week pro programs 12 week programs and they're all really dope my main issue is my core region i have a big belly uh, but my legs are, are pretty strong, my arms are pretty strong, my back, my chest. They're, it's all getting stronger because the last program really focused on overall body um, building. And not in the sense of like competitive bodybuilding, but just like strength and uh, functional training. But I need to continue the weight loss journey as far as just targeting the fat, losing the actual weight versus cutting and getting strong. Grit. Grit is a positive, non-cognitive trait based on an individual's perseverance of effort combined with the passion for a particular long-term goal or end state. A powerful motivation to achieve an objective. And that's what this season is equipped with. Sheer grit. I've been looking forward to starting a new fitness regimen. This regimen is focused on fat loss. Earlier on in this video, I pointed out that fat loss and weight loss are two different things. Weight loss can mean losing fat, but it can also mean losing muscle mass. And for the next 12 weeks, I'm targeting fat. I've been sticking to my intermittent fasting and eating cleaner than I did last season, and it's already proven to be fruitful. I'm down to 294. It's great to see that after a month of plateau. These workouts we're doing target different groups on a single day and are slightly longer than our old routine. We're averaging an hour and a half on our workouts. And Thursdays we're supposed to rest, but what I've been doing is going in and cycling for five miles, and then I'm either on an incline walk on 13 and 3 or on the stair stepper. I fall in love with the stair stepper because I really work up a good sweat. Now y'all will see in these upcoming episodes that Slim, my brother, and I have all been bringing our sons to the gym. It's dope seeing how fitness can promote a sense of camaraderie amongst our young sons. And my son's body is transforming too. It's impressive to see a 16-year-old teenager wake up every morning at 4 a.m. and hit the gym with his old man. His body definitely reflects the discipline. And that's not the only benefit. We've bonded over the last several months in the gym or on the car ride too. The conversations are endless, the laughter is good, and the time invested together creates a stronger bond. Y'all can see here, his biceps are blowing up. I'm really proud of him. I wanted to comment because I've been getting a lot of uh, comments on some of my videos. And one of them was Polo, I believe. Polo Duh. Polo Duh said, hey, will you be taking a break from dieting before you go into your next 12 weeks? And I said, great question. Nah, uh, I framed it as a change of lifestyle and what I eat. In other words, I won't have pizza or anything like that. I'll just be a little more relaxed with the quantity. So instead of a 6-ounce steak and veggies for dinner, I might do a 10-ounce steak. So yesterday, y'all will see in the beginning of this clip, I, I went fishing with my, my son the day before I hit the beach and fished with my brother. Last night, me and my son went, went ridiculous with the fish. We caught uh, 15 perch, big fat ones too. So uh, we're going to prepare that because we're, we're planning on, we're going to call it a fish fry, but I don't want to fry my fish. Uh, I might actually grill it. I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'm preparing uh, three pounds of ground turkey with cauliflower rice and veggies. I'm going to have my protein shake as a snack. And I'm also going to have, look at this, P. 
Pickled eggs. Big John's pickled eggs. This right here is a hell of a snack. So, and it's only 70 calories. Anyways, I have one or two of these, and that's a, that's a great snack for me. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in South Florida, and the weather's gorgeous, and I wanted to uh, tell y'all some of the benefits I've experienced of being down almost 80 pounds. Um, something simple like, like my seatbelt. I don't know if y'all realize, 80 pounds is a lot, and I still got another 93 pounds to go. Uh, when I put on my seatbelt, I no longer have to pull it all the way out. Put it on. And I'm grateful for that. That's a, that's a reminder and a representation of, of discipline and uh, good eating habits. What kind of uh, results they produce. Uh, I have way more energy now uh, than I did before. Just overall, just, just, um, overall a good experience. And I feel better, clarity of mind, it feels good. Hey man, it's a blessing to live in South Florida. It's gorgeous. I decided to go for a run outside. Um, right now I'm walking, I'm about to get it started though. But man, it's just beautiful out here. Super beautiful and serene. There's a golf golf club right here. Or whatever golf course. And it's just beautiful. Anyway, outdoor run. Let's get it. Hey, so I want to give y'all a, a update. I, uh, my daughter just recently got a job at the outlets here in the city and she asked me to drive her in to do some paperwork. I said, cool. So I was like, man, while she does her paperwork, I'm gonna go for a run. And, um, y'all, I finished my mile in 12 minutes and 33 seconds flat. That's the fastest I've ever run a mile this time around in my fitness journey. Um, eventually I like to get to a sub eight, but, um, incredibly happy with the a 1233 because when i started this whole fitness journey i was running a mile and running in 20 minutes um then i shaved it down to 19 and then 18 then 17 then when i hit 16 i was at 16 for a few months then 15 then 14 and i hadn't ran until today outside in uh in at least three months so i was like ah there's gonna be you know there's there's little peaks and valleys and the road winds and tangles down but i did that mile in 12 minutes and 33 seconds and i'm really fucking proud of myself um i'm only getting better and that's uh that's another uh benefit and testament of what it looks like when you um when you stay disciplined and stay the course even when you're facing adversity when when the weight ain't moving the scale ain't moving or don't feel like it you're progressing and that's really what the fuck I wanted to tell y'all is when shit ain't looking you're you're good or in your favor, keep fucking going. Keep fucking going. Cause that's the only way you'll break barriers. Um uh, and that's my word. I'm fucking excited. Really excited. Now, I made this sandwich with Dave's killer bread, the thin slice one. And uh, the mayonnaise I used on this is actually egg-free mayo. It's uh, this one is um, ego mayo or something like that because it's it's lemon-based versus egg-based. And three slices of turkey, uh, leaf of lettuce, and I'm looking forward to eating it. I'm having it with a nice cool glass of water.
As y'all can see, it's a jar. I don't know why I like drinking out of jars, but I do. Um, yeah, man, so this journey has been incredible. After Finally, after a month of stagnation, I'm down five pounds as of today. Um, bring me down to the 294. I've been hovering in my 90s this entire time. And um, I'm grateful I've stuck with the program because it would have been easy to give up. It would have been easy to say, you know what? Shit ain't working. Let me uh let me eat how I want and um give up on my weight loss journey, but I didn't. I stuck it out. So that said. Stay tuned.